Hello everyone and welcome back to the Node.js course. In previous lesson, we just learned how to pass data through Express application to the EJS view. Now we are going to pass array from Express application to the EJS view. What I'm going to go ahead and do is show some blog post below of this all blocks label. The first step that we want to do is go to the route handler of our home page that is this root path and then we can create the array we can go ahead and say const and we can say the variable name for that now it is equals to square brackets inside here I'm going to just paste the code that I have in my clipboard actually what kind of array is this this array containing objects that means this is a list of object right and each update will containing title and the snippet you can use whatever title or maybe snippet but you can get this file inside of resources right now I'm going to replace this object with our variable name of this constant I can say blocks here right now we are passing this array to our index.ejs view now I'm going to show my blocks inside of this div below of this all blocks that means this label we can output that first of all I'm going to check whether there is a blocks using if statement to do that I'm going to say starting angle bracket and then percentage sign and then if now I'm checking whether blocks dot length is higher than zero that means there is blocks to show and I'm going to start the braces before that I'm going to close this because we are going to show some HTML codes to do that I can say percentage sign and then angle bracket of ending right the next thing we have to do is read particular block from this blocks array to do that inside of this if we statement we can say this is a static angle bracket with the percentage sign and we are going to use JavaScript we can say blocks dot for each and parentheses inside parentheses I can say some variable name for particular block now this time I'm saying block now we have to create a callback function for it we can say equals and then ending angle bracket and braces now inside of this braces we can access our block now I want to end this by saying percentage sign and the ending angle bracket because we are going to write HTML now but I have to put starting angle bracket and the percentage sign here because we want to in this function and then the method right now let's output the particular title and the snippet of block for that I can say is to tag we are going to output some JavaScript code now that means we want to start with angle bracket and then percentage sign and we have to close that using percentage sign and the angle bracket here we are only outputting one thing that means we have to put equals and then we can say block dot title I did something wrong when you scroll to top you can see our title is dynamically getting from our express application but if we check at our app.js here we cannot see any object here instead of that we can see our array name here but when we pass in data through our express application to the EJS view we have to pass that data as an object that means we have to replace this with the braces and then we can say the first one that is the key is title now we can say some title we can say home page as the second value we can pass our blocks here right we can go to index.ejs now we want to output our snippet for that I am going to use p tag and we can output that using JavaScript we can say static angle bracket and then percentage sign 
and we have to in that we have to say equals now we can say block dot snippet right now in your terminal type nodeman app otherwise nodeman app dot js that means this file name there is another error that means we didn't close our if we statement to close that we can say javascript code starting angle bracket and then percentage sign and in that finally we can say percentage sign and then ending angle bracket now open your browser click refresh you can see your particular block let's go back to the code for now i'm going to say class for this because we are going to customize this page using css here i can say title and the second one p tag that is snippet all right what if there are no blocks let's go to our app.js and delete these objects and run that again now we can see nothing because we are checking there is a block available using this if statement but if there is a no block we can use else statement now we can say starting angle bracket and same thing we can say else and then braces now we have to close this middle of braces by saying percentage sign and the ending angle bracket now we have to say again starting angle bracket and then percentage sign and in that also because this brace should be end using javascript right now we can use p tag to show there are no blocks right there are one thing to note when we are writing if we statement inside of ejs we doesn't have to create a new line after the first statement here we are having if we statement after that we have a new line and having else statement actually we can't do that because it will end up with the error to fix that all we have to do is go to up and type else here and we have to start the brace like this and we have to delete the last one in dim1 we can delete this line now this is fine we can run that now we can see there are no blocks available now let's recover our blocks here i'm going to press command and z to recover and save that and run again here we can see our blocks if we inspect element now there are only h2 tags and p tags only but we can't see any kind of a loop because this is a html file that means ejs view engine will take the process and will identify what happening through the our express application data and with the view of ejs also ejs view engine available in the server and it will take all process by reading what process should i do and it will read all data that received from the express application it will completely process out and give the output as a new html file like this okay that is it for this lecture and i will see you in the next lecture